Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about different problems faced by urban society in the context of India. There are several crucial problems that the urban society is facing. Some of important problems among them is housing in slums, crowding and depersonalization, water supply and drainage, transportation and traffic, power shortage, sanitation, pollution and many others. Urban problems are endless. To name the more important among them are pollution, corruption, unemployment, crime, juvenile, delinquency, overcrowding, slum, drug, sprawl, addiction, alcoholism, begging and many more. We will focus on some of the important problems which are core concern of urban planning. Housing people in a city or evolving housing needs is a serious problem. Government, industrialists, capitalists, entrepreneurs, contractors, landlords have been trying to solve this problem and want to keep pace with the housing need of the poor and the middle class. According to the 1988 UNI report, between one-fourth and half of the urban population in India's largest city lives in makeshift settlements. Millions of people are required to pay excessive rent that is one which is beyond their means. And this is due to because they are unable to get affordable housing from the government department. In this profit-oriented economy of 21st century, private landlords and colonizers find little profit in building houses in cities for poor and lower income group. Rather, they consider it gainful to concentrate meeting the demand of housing need of the rich and upper class. The result has been higher rent and scrapable of the few available houses. Almost half of the population are either ill-housed or pay more than 20 to 30 percent of their income on rent. In some state, housing board and city development authorities have tried to remedy the city housing problem but their effort is negligible. They even charge the total housing cost in monthly installment on interest varying between 9% to 11%. Housing in cities even today continue to be a gigantic problem next only to food and clothing. The estimated shortage of houses at the beginning of Earth Fiber Plan was 30 million unit out of which only 8 million were required for urban areas. By 1998, the shortage was expected to grow to 13 million units in urban areas. In Delhi alone, which has a population increase from 6.2 to 9.3 million between 1981 and 1991, there is an addition of 60,000 people each year which need to be provided with new housing. Almost 70% of Delhi's population, according to UNI report, lives in a sub urban condition. Most of them live in unauthorized colonies, unregularized colonies. With the country's slum population of 1991 standing at nearly 40% of the urban areas, The situation is no better in other metropolitan cities like Bangalore, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, Kanpur, Pune, Nagpur, Lucknow, Jaipur and others. Slum population government effort notwithstanding is expected to show a sizable increase but it has not been meeting the need of housing and it is aggravating the housing problems more and more. 
Living conditions in slum areas are characterized by overcrowding, poor environmental condition, scarcity of health and family welfare services, and total absence of minimum level of residential accommodation. One of the other major problems in the urban areas is water supply and drainage. We have reached a stage where no city has round-the-clock water supply. Intermittent water supply result in vacuum being created in water lines which often sucks in pollution through leaking joints. Many cities like Delhi, Chennai, Hyderabad, Rajkot, Azmer, Udaipur get water from municipal sources for less than few hours. 6 to 10, not more than 10 hours. Many small towns have little water and they, their supply is only limited to 1 or 2 hours. Many small towns have little water supply network and are mostly dependent on tube wells, hand pumps. Even a relatively planned and serviced city like Delhi has good rain every year have been undergoing the problem of acute water shortage in last decade. What seems to be sadly lacking is the national water policy which would assess the total water resources and then allocate water to different municipal corporations. The other problem that is related to water is the drainage. We find the situation equally bad. One of the least known fact about India is that there is not a single city which is fully covered by sewerage network. Not even Chandigarh or Delhi, which claims to be distinction in the urban centers. Non-existence of the drainage systems in many of the small and medium towns is not hidden from the sight of the media and the common man. Large pools of the stagnant water can be seen in every city during rainy season, during summer. Another great problem is the traffic and transportation. The transportation traffic picture in all cities is not very good. Most of them are very bad or extremely unsatisfactory. Majority of the people use public transport while few only use the rail transit system. The increasing number of the two-wheelers and four-wheelers make traffic problems worse. The number of the buses flying in the metropolitan cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, Bangalore is not adequate and commuters have to spend about one to two hours to get into a bus. This means leaving home two hours in advance in morning to reach their place of work and reaching home in two hours. The reason for this is messy condition is that low income of the commuter forces them to live in the areas far flung from the city core, core of the city. Many residents cannot afford to pay high fare for using public transport systems like Metro, Metro which has increased their fares double in last few years. There is a great problem of water power shortage also in most of the smaller towns. The use of electrical gadget has can considerably increased in cities. The establishment of new industries and expansion of the older one has also increased the dependence on electricity. Most states are not in a position to generate the power that they need with the result that they remain dependent on the neighboring state. You might have heard about the conflict over distribution and supply of the power among a state often leads to severe power crisis among different states. 
there are other problems of the towns urban areas is the sanitation municipalities and municipal corporations in indian towns are so riddled with the mal administration that they have little time <coughs> to the municipal bodies they are do not care much about removing garbage cleaning drains and unclogging sewers more often sometimes they clean the street once in a week not on a daily basis sweepers rarely and reluctantly perform their assigned duty because they are in the government job every few months threaten to go on a strike is another issue of these sanitation workers garbage disposal is a great problem in urban areas most of the smaller towns they dump in their municipal bond area and this also leads to pollution towns are major polluter of the environment several cities discharge more than 40 to 50 percent of their entire sewerage and industrial effluent untreated into nearby rivers or water bodies the smallest town contributes its share of garbage and excreta to the nearest waterway through its open drains urban industry pollutes the atmosphere with a smoke toxic gas from its chimneys pollution around many of the urban centers leads to many diseases which affect children's The issue of the environmental pollution in Anwar areas is considered so significant that even the Supreme Court in July 1995 had to ask for a strict enforcement of environmental laws leading to closure or relocation of more than 146 hazardous industries in Delhi in 1996. Made by the Central Pollution Board, this is the leading monitoring body of the pollution in India. The fluent generation from agri aquatic culture forms on the eastern coast alone was 2.3 million cubic meter. The poison was put in the environment comes right back to us through air pollution, water pollution or food. The worsening environmental condition in Indian towns like Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Chennai has led to increase in the many diseases like cancer and others. This is very crucial for the existence of the women. The urban areas are faced by many other problems which we will discuss in some other lecture. Thank you. Thank you for discussion.